The Lord is near unto them that are of a what? Broken heart and save such as be of a contract spirit. <laughs> Verse 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them. A couple of them. How many? Three of them. How many? Oh. Come on. The Lord delivers you out of them all. Do you don't trust that or are you still trusting in your worldly way? Amen. I trust that because I didn't know that. Amen. Psalms 51. Amen. Amen. Psalms 51. Verse 17. 51 17. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O oh God, thou wilt not despise. Are you ready to be broken? <laughs> or are you ready to stay the same? You are not going to move until you decide to get broken. I see broken people here. Broken people come through here all the time. All the time. This is a place for broken souls. This is a place to mend that soul. But guess what comes with that? Discipline. The problem is you don't want to be disciplined. The key word that comes out of discipline is called disciple. Same word. Hello? Somebody tell you what to do, now you're angry. You can't tell me what to do. Well, stay prideful, stay broke. Amen. It's, you know, especially with men, man. I don't know why it's so hard for men to tell other men what to do. Amen. I mean, we were all born leaders. But guess what you got to be before you become a leader? A follower. You can't be nothing and you ain't got nothing but ants following you. You can't do it. You got ants and caterpillars and maggots and everything else following you. Don't you want something better than that? Amen. I hope so as men. Boy, you hear this about <laughs> Go to Job 5. Job chapter 5, verses 17 and 18. And it says, Behold, happy is the man that God corrects. See? Happy is the man that God corrects. Therefore, despise not thou the discipline or chastising of the Almighty. For he makes sore, bind him up, he wound him, and his hands make whole. Look at that. <laughs> he does it. Amen. But most of us don't want to go through that. No. They just don't want to go through that. But happy is the man who is disciplined or corrected by God. And that also means women. Okay? So you learn to be broken and let God die you, you can't be broken. Revelation 3. Woo. I told you I got a lot of scripture today. I'm trying not to, you know. I really have a message for you this evening. For those who want to grab it, for those who just think I'm preaching rhetoric, sorry, too bad. I'm coming out the word of God. So you fight with God concerning the understanding. Don't fight with me. Revelation 319. 319 says what? As many as I love, I do what to them? I rebuke. I chasten. Be zealous, therefore, do what? Repent. Many as I love, I break. Many as I love, I win. Hello. Many as I love, I create. Do y'all think God loves you? Yes. Does he love you? Yes. Then why don't you let him disappear? <laughs> hmm. Amen. Then also, why don't you repent? Oh, Lord, I confess all the time. No, it's a difference between confess and repent. Amen. It's a major difference. I believe everybody can confess because I know everybody here loves Jesus. I know they do. But nobody really seems to know how to repent. And then if they can't repent, they don't say, Lord, help me to repent. What does repent mean? Turn away. Lord, I'm ready to turn away. Oh, yeah, I did this tonight, Lord. I did that. That's confession. But repentance says, turn away from. Don't ever do it again. It may be people you're hanging around. 
may be peer pressure. It may be your job. You may be, it may be, it could be anything that God says, stop doing that and watch it change. Amen. Do you know there are certain influences in the air that just, you don't even know it's there and all of a sudden you smell it and you run to it? You know? You just don't even know it's there. A weed smoker can smell a weed block away. Amen. <laughs> it's in the air. And those who smell could smoke crack, you know the ones who know what it smells like, y'all smell in the air. And run to it. Your friends who don't know be like, what's wrong with you? I smell it in the air. <laughs> First Corinthians 11. 31 and 32. <laughs> For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. See? Take accountability here. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord. We are disciplined of the Lord. We are broken by God. Amen. Amen. That we should not be condemned with the who? With the world. world. If you are born again, why are you letting yourself be condemned with the world? You come in here, you get all this word, and you go right back out and act like the world. Jesus. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, you don't even make it off the property. <laughs> You're acting like the world again. Just heard all that word. So I'm in here, just can't even wait till this is over with. I only came here for a grub. Well, it's fine. But if you're only here just to hear and come to get some food, guess what God is saying to you now? That when you die, like Jesus died, and you say, God, I never knew this stuff, he giving you no excuse because you had to sit there and listen to a man or woman of God tell you to God, you know you don't want it, you can't stand in this judgment seat and say, I didn't know you was real, I never heard you. Well, not. I saw you at first. I sent you there. Amen. I directed you there. You cried out for help. Lord, I'm hungry. Lord, I need a place to sleep. Watch my butt. Okay, go here. Okay. Now, here the gospel. No excuse. No. You know, people sticker at pastors. Well, I suck at that pastor. He put me up in the hotel. Boy, I got to live for a week. He only put me up in my kitchen. No. God touched pastor. He yeah. put you in that hole. Amen. Amen. And when you mock God, what? Amen. You thought you got over for a week. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> First Corinthians 11. Looking at verses 31 and 32. All right, we already did that, right? Okay. Go to John 15. Amen. John 15. Now, this is what Jesus is telling you. Who in here is born again? Amen. Who in here has their heart for God, though they still make mistakes? Amen. Amen. Well, this one is for you. Amen. The those who really love Jesus. Amen. This one's for you. You, verse 16, 15, 16, Gospel of John. You have not chosen me. Hello. You thought you chose Jesus? You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go forth and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever you shall ask of my father in my name he may give you they ain't talking to you who ain't born yet they ain't talking to you who stayed in sin you know, you walk say, I love Jesus I claim this in the name of Jesus amen you ain't getting nothing you ain't getting nothing but you who have clean hands and pure heart, who are seeking God with your whole heart, Amen. you have been ordained and chosen by Jesus before the foundation of this world. Amen. Amen. And I don't care if you two, tonight you two. He's already known what day, what hour, what minute you were going to come to him with a whole heart. Amen. 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 Growing up means you learn to obey your last instruction. Go to Proverbs 3. When you grow up in Jesus and decide to be broken, you have come to the place of learning your last instruction from God. Amen? Proverbs 3. Look at verse 11. 3.11. My son, despise not. 
the discipline or chastising of the Lord. Neither be weary of his correction. Be happy that God is instructing you and disciplining you. Because if you're not, then you're not his. The Bible says in Hebrews that you're a bastard if God is not God. It literally says bastard. Illegitimate. I'm not a bastard child. Most bastard children are those who have been by a mother who've never been married. Well, I'm one of them. And I didn't like it. You weren't going to call me no bastard. All right? But then when I found out I had an almighty father, I didn't have a physical father who stuck around, but you know what the Lord did to grow me up? He gave me two spiritual fathers in himself. Amen. My deacon George Lagan, who stayed with me despite my mess. Every time I fell down, he came and got me. And my bishop taught me the word of God like no other man has ever taught me the word of God. My deacon always told me, I don't care how many times you fall, start falling forward. Stop falling on your butt. Because when you fall backwards, you can't move forward. But if you fall forward, you can still keep on going forward. Amen. 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 Boy, that was so wicked to me. Amen. So every time I feel I begin to fall forward. And how did I fall forward? With integrity and telling the truth about my issue. Instead of saying, now he's falling backwards. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. What you saw? It wasn't me. But Father Ford said, yes, it was me. Help. Yes, I did that today. Help. See? Integrity of the heart. Honestly saying, I got problems. I got issues. Help me. Please. But men don't cry when they don't know how to say help. Women cry for help all the time. The only reason why they don't ask men for help is because that man can't help them. Because they see him falling on his back. Amen. 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 They don't like me no more. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Proverbs 19. <laughs> Verse 18. Discipline or chastisement, thy son, without there is hope. And let thy and let not thy soul spare for his crime. With me, I don't care if he hollering and screaming. Tear this butt up. There's even a verse in that says, if the withhold not the rod from the child, because you saved his soul from hell. Yes. Believe it or not, some of you are being with. That's why you're down every day. Right. Wondering why you can't go no further. Because you're being whipped. Amen. You're being whipped. Gentlemen, ladies, you're being whipped. Hmm. Woo. All right. <laughs> Daniel, chapter 10. <laughs> the book of Daniel. I told y'all we're gonna be doing some dancing this evening. Daniel 10, looking at verses 7 through 12. Now y'all highlight this a little bit. And Daniel alone saw the vision. For the men that were with me saw, here you go. For the men that were with me, that friendship saw not the vision. <laughs> But a great quaking fell upon them, so that they fled to hide themselves. Therefore I was left what alone, and saw this great vision, and there remained to there remained no strength in me for my comeliness. In other words, the way I looked. For my comeliness was turned into turned in me into corruption, and I retained no strength. Now, guess what he's saying here? <laughs> Should I say this, Lord? Okay, one more. But when I look at that, that's a person of me who has lost their hope, who has been smoking all night. Their coveriness, the way they look, they have no more strength. When I used to be up three days and three nights smoking crack, you know, I look great. I look withdrawn. I look sad. Hello. That I had no more strength. Anything could have came by me and knocked me over. Hello. Verse 9, yet heard I the voice of his words. And when I heard the voice of his words, then was I in 
lay deep sleep on my face. And my face toward the what? Ground. How far I want to go with this? Let's keep going. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Where is it at? <laughs> and behold, and the hand touched me, which set me upon the knees and upon the palms of my head. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, add your name. What's your name? O Warren, greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee. And stand up, right? Hello. For unto thee am I now sent. How many has got? Hey, hey, hey! How many angels have been sent unto you? Do you know you entertain angels in other ways? How many people have you walked by and just thought they were disgusting and whatever, and you don't know they may have been an angel in other ways, and you didn't even recognize? And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. That's another thing we lack in the body, a healthy fear of God. Y'all don't fear God. Why don't you fear the Lord? Verse 12. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to be what? Chastened, broken, disciplined. Amen. Thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy word. Say so when you decide to be broke and humble yourself correctly, he will hear you. Amen. Despite you. <laughs> How many of y'all want God to hear you? Amen. Get real with them then. Amen. He knows your condition. He knows it better than you do. He just wanted to see if you want to be honest. Amen. Amen. Woo. <laughs> Go to Hebrews. Now you know what? Do I got enough time for that? Yeah, let's go to Hebrews chapter 12. That's good. Hebrews 12. I hope I got enough time to show you the maturity scriptures I've been wanting to show you for a while. I like this right here. I hear a lot of silence in here. That's cool. <laughs> that means y'all must be listening to me. Amen. Or am I boring? Amen. All right, Hebrews chapter 12, look at verse 1, and we're going to go all the way to verse 14, 1 to 14. Wherefore, seeing we also were compassed about with so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which do so easily beset us. See, God even said, I know you sin, and I know it's easy to do. Let's keep reading. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto who? Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Amen. Despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest you be weary and faint in your mind. Mm. Amen. I'm going to keep moving. Verse 4. You have not yet resisted on the blood striving against sin, and you have forgotten the exhortation. You have forgotten how I built you up. You have forgotten the good word I gave. You have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Be happy that God is doing. Amen. Amen? Because the devil just wants to build you up and kill you. Amen. That's all. The devil will give you anything and you will think it's God and next thing you know you done die. Hello. I hate to keep using Whitney and Michael Jackson and all these stars who are doing all this stuff. They had everything they ever wanted. And the devil killed them. Yeah, yeah. Did they take any of it with them? No. Amen. But guess what it was? A wake up call for you who were worshiping them. A wake up call. You can gain the whole world and lose your soul. Amen. Hello. Amen. Let's keep going. Verse 6. For the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scorcheth every son which he received. Mm. <laughs> Verse 7. If you endure chastening, God deals with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chastens not? If you're not being disciplined of God, something wrong. You belong to the devil. Amen. Verse 8. But if you be without 
discipline. If you be without chastisement, where are? Doesn't it say all? Doesn't it say one? Only my sons and my daughters, only those who are born that. It says everybody, even the speakers, everybody, whether good, bad, or different, all are what? Partakers. Then you are what? Masters and not sons. Watch this again. Let's read it again. If you be without chastisement, where And not something. Let God discipline you. Because when he's doing it, you are not illegitimate. You belong to him. Be happy about it. Amen. Amen. And just be happy. Keep going. Verse 9. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which cor corrected us. And we gave them reverence. Hey, Daddy, how you doing? But we don't give God enough, huh? Shall we not much rather be a subject unto the Father of spirits and live? For they verily for a few days chasten us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit that we might be partakers of his holiness. Now, no chastening or discipline for the present seemeth to be joyous. Ooh, I'm not getting my butt with I'm so happy. <laughs> Seem to be joyous, but watch it, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward they yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Amen. So if God is disciplining you, Amen. come on, come on, brother. Amen. That's right. Amen. Verse 12. Wherefore, lift up your hands which hang down and the feeble knees. Get up! Stop walking around with your hands down. Walk with as much confidence and boldness that you know who your daddy is. Don't let nobody tell you you ain't nothing. Get up! I don't care what your condition is. Get up! Walk with confidence. Walk with boldness. Walk with like you know who your daddy is. How you gonna walk around with your hand down and talk about Jesus, my father? <laughs> hey man, I'm just being serious here. I see gifted people in here, man. It blows my mind how many gifted people there are. And, and, and the reason why I know in the same condition. Here it is, a degree in computers, you know, uh, a degree in spiritual stuff. All this schooling I had, I'm sitting there homeless and smoking crack. I run across it all the time. Y'all geniuses. It takes a genius to know how to get high today. Yeah. Done. Amen. You have to sit there and calculate. Where can I get this? Where can I get that? Who can I get this from? You know what I think I'll do that? If you would take the same energy that you Now walk. And when you walk, how many of y'all have babies? And when they first walk, they 